Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do... Right at home. I'm just looking at these cool fiber optics and going over today's science file. How do fiber optics work? Try this. You will need a flashlight, tin foil, and a water bottle. Okay, head to your bathroom and bring a bottle of water. One that still has water in it. Woo! That tin foil that wrapped your sandwich. You're gonna need it. A flashlight that works. Whoa! Boo! Oh wait, no. Okay, see, wait. It's got to be this way. It's got to face this way. Cause see, this not so well. Like, cause see, and then and then, see. Cause this this is hard. It's got to be pointed this way. Start by wrapping the water bottle with the tin foil like this. Then place the flashlight underneath and turn it on. Now hit the lights. Now all you have to do is pour the water out. If you're going to do this, you, you probably want to do it over a pail or over the sink. Because, anyway, you saw the light inside the water. So what's going on here? Well, take a look at this. Fiber optic transmission of light depends on preventing light from escaping from the fiber. A principle called total internal reflection allows fiber optics to retain light they carry. An optical fiber core is coated by a lower density glass layer. This coating acts like the tin foil to help keep the light in. As long as the fiber is not curved too sharply, light traveling inside cannot strike the outer surface at a less critical angle. Thus, light can be transmitted over long distances by reflecting inward thousands of times with no loss. So now you know how fiber optics work. You know what? Seeing internal reflection inside the water is why science is so cool. <laughs> Yo!